Oh hello everyone, it's been a while since we had official information, and but now after much leaks and speculation, neither of which I've been putting too much emphasis on, we have an official Pokemon Presents, hence which details all this information on a lot of upcoming content for the franchise, including the highly anticipated Generation 9 later this year, so let's get started. First off, off the Pokemon World Championships are finally returning in person format in London. And from August the 18th to the 22nd, even though I will obviously not be able to attend the event in person, as compared to a spectator, I'll definitely be following the action at home and look forward to seeing he what will will be on tap, especially with competitive Pokemon Unite and Pokemon Go entering the show for the first time. Also games we're getting updates on 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 in this presentation which I'll be addressing All right. right. So in Pokemon Go the finale of the Ultra Beasts event will be on the twenty seventh of August this month. And with that being the case, this mean that means all the Ultra Beasts have been appearing around the world will be ye together in one final event. I mean, I've always liked the concept of Ultra Beast as well as like the Ultra Recon Squad. Uh, whatever happens with the storyline, I mean, and where here Professor Willow has gone off to now, looking forward to that. And we also get more details on how like the Daily Incense works, which I've had mixed success with, but even though it's awful on rework right now, I have a clear of heart works now. I mean, how I mean, especially in terms of how it's basically catch all you can in fifteen minutes. Mm. So, my my six year video on that will be a next week. I mean, like a week from tomorrow. Oh, so there's that. Okay. And as I mentioned before, Pokemon Unite has now been out for a full year, and and they're still iterating with more content. On top of Tyranitar and Buzzwool being next to join the game after Glaceon and the other ongoing events with the first anniversary, we have another new mode, Hood Pikachu Party. Be looking forward to trying that later. And even though we did exactly a we get the exact will be revealed in wave two of monsters the next three. But it's gonna be starting in September, so I'll definitely keep an eye on that to be sure. Mm. For Pokemon Masters, there's going to be another new feature coming, the Trainers Lodge, as displayed by Gold Climbing the Mountain, Mount Silver to Face Red once again, and and other characters like Ann and Rosa uh, shacking up there. I mean, that will be coming I mean, in the near future. I mean, as for the game itself, I still haven't played it as frequently as I used to, but I still check in whenever there's an event or a sync pair that interests me. So at least once a month. And so I'll definitely have something later this month on my with my three years later on that, so let's keep going. All right, and next up, we have Mewtwo Returns in Pokemon Cafe Remix. So this event already occurred earlier in the year, but it's good for people who missed it the first time around and people like me who didn't get all the rewards words, and are willing to do another go around for entire new group perks as well. So, yeah, this puzzle game has definitely helped occupy my head whenever I need to clear it, I mean, to quiet my thoughts, I mean, something that's been increasingly difficult for me as of late, so definitely glad to have something that, that will keep if that had occupied in these kind of circumstances, so yeah. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. 
after much leaks and speculation, we finally have a big update on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Violet ahead of its release this November. The Spain-inspired region finally has a name, aim, and we are assigned to join the treasure hunt as you travel across Paldea. Yeah. And as part of the Pokemon Academy, we also have more details on the gameplay, hey, as well as some new Pokemon reveals. Reveals on top of like the Paldean Wooper now being official. Oh, and we have a few new monsters. Fido, who I mean, a dog that looks cute enough to eat. I mean, not that I would imply anything by that. That's and also my personal favorite of the newly revealed monsters is the ice type C titan and there's at least three storylines including the gym challenge which takes place on non-linear format this time which adds to like how a lot of the elite four more recent titles have taken place on a non-linear format that uh, and also from Generation Five on, which is another W for that game, for those games impact, and also have some new characters including Jacques, Irvin, Penny, the first of many gym leaders, Grusha, an Ice type master, and the headmaster Clavel. I had to wonder. Is he on a level, or is something else I had to wonder about? Because, let's keep that in mind. Hmm. We also have the Union Circle hole, which will be how we access multiplayer functions online this time around. Further corroborates details that were, that were teased in previous presentations and information. And we also have our new who, battle whole mechanic which people wondered if it involved type change well it technically does but that's not going to be the main focus this being like a new who, phenomenon known as terrastall which can allow pokemon to crystallize once per battle and gain new special abilities these which also means that technically Crystal Onyx is now canon. I'm also liking like the early adoption bonus of like the Terra Stall Pikachu with the balloons and a flying type, which nice little homage to like the balloon Pikachu mini game from way back when. I always like it when they do those are my favorite kind of Easter eggs, the more subtle kind, especially when it's all the callbacks. And the terror raids also involve, if I heard correctly, some real-time battle mechanics, and I really like that. I mean, I'm not one, I'm not one of those all-or-nothing guys, guys that thinks one or the other should be the focus, but I'm, with lots of Arceus, I've never been open to the idea of introducing those elements. I mean, I mean, I've never understood why uh, the value about that. I mean, I just don't want to see everyone, like, like suddenly talk about Elder May and quote unquote suggest to get rid of the real time combat in that either. So there you go. Overall, I'd say another solo presentation and easily gonna be another day one pickup for me. After Splatoon 3, that's gonna be a switch title I'm prioritizing next. Everything else is going to be to be a term, much like everything else in my life at this stage. And with that being the case, I will definitely a solo again soon because there's other video game related content I'll be talking about tomorrow. So take care, everyone. Mm.